This is Playmobello and this is set 3840-3840 from the year 1995. Awesome looking dragon, dragon slayer. This is the catalog from 1995, the dragon temple, the mysterious dragon temple. So you have page one here and page two. You get all of those sets that should be reviewed pretty much here on Playmobello. The first set I already reviewed, which is set 3839. They're showing the Baron's Tower because this set came right after. Then we have the dragon right here. 3840, we're gonna have this, 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 all of those, including the magnificent, most awesome dragon temple that should be the last one to be reviewed. There is a lot you can do with this set. For example, this dragon is very awesome and unique. Arms here that goes all the way like so. You can do this, you can do this, then you rotate like this as well. He doesn't have wings. Of course, it won't fly, I believe, but he can't stump around his feet all the way like that, and he can walk like that. Let's say we have the mages in this tower here, and the dragon comes, and he puts his head up and sets fire to the top to try and reach them up. Another thing you can do, you can have the tail fallen off in some sort of base, for example, this tower here. And it looks like he's just literally standing in there and protecting the whole tower from invaders. In 2004, Playmobil released the same dragon but in the color of red. The eyes are fiery. Come, see this eye? And the fire here got some texture, like it's uh, more fiery looking with some orange and yellow. His gem is pretty much red. His is green. And this one is real chains. Real, uh, some sort of copperish chain that can get rusted, and this is plastic because you know, 2004 Playmobil realized chains were getting rusty and not working well and breaking apart, yet, plastic was immortal forever. We have a prince here, a dragon slayer, that can use his awesome golden sword and his horse with a unicorn style armor to fight the dragon and sword slice his mouth right through it. Through it. He can definitely defend from the fire using his shield, his sword, and splash that fire away from his body and his head. But at the end, I don't think he can make it. It's such a... Dragons are such a powerful creatures. He probably ends up smashed, stomped to death, and eaten alive. The last days of the great prince, the dragon slayer that slays no more. And here is the set with all its accessories removed. We have the dragon. As you know, if you saw the other video from 2004, you can remove these shackles and you can have the dragon free. Just switch the chain from the feet to the hand, the hand to the feet, and have it just the shackles, the chains on the feet instead of the arms. Then you have a golden ondulated sword, a cool prince crown, an awesome shield that has gold metal in the middle, the cape. The cape has these golden inscriptions in there. The armor for the horse, it, it all combines with these pieces that goes on his back and his torso. This is one of those vintage horses that can totally stand up like that, which is one of my favorite things. Saddle that is also red. And the character. The character has a really nice looking mustache, long mustache, long blonde hair. And this is how his back looks like. That is set 3840 from 1995. After a long journey, the great prince dragon slayer decides to become the dragon rider. And he packs up all the shackles on his horse and travels to the nearest wizard tower to show his great feat as a dragon rider. Yes, you can ride your dragon by putting your feet on his back and then you become a dragon rider. But that's how it looks like with both sets together and soon we're gonna have a new set to review to be this one.